Hey there. Guess I don't have to introduce myself, huh? I get that this is probably pretty confusing seeing yourself like this. Guess I should start from the beginning. I thought he was a bit too interesting to die off so quick. That's the way it is. Did it like skip what? Now, Monokuma probably already told you this, but just in case. This killing game will continue until there are only two people left. Okay. Now the important part of that rule is that... Oh, there is one more thing. Sure. Well, the truth is, this isn't your first. Anyone who finds out who you are is going to come for you. So watch your back. Trust no one. And never forget. And then, yeah. You wanted this killing game. So you have to win, no matter what. No matter what. So much for that. Live and let the languid world live. Ellie left. The morning after the third class trial. After waking up from Monokuma's announcement, I headed to the dining hall as always. Uh, um... Good morning, everyone. Ah, <gasps> uh, yeah, good morning. <sighs> good morning. <laughs> There's a dark mood in the air of the dining hall today. That's to be expected with what we've been through. In a situation like this. I don't see how we could all possibly stay enthusiastic. Well, with two exceptions. Yo! What's wrong, bro? You're not gonna eat? <laughs> you don't eat? Then Gunter will eat you instead, Shuichi. What's Gunter gonna say? Huh? Huh? He'll eat me. Don't you mean my breakfast? You know... Speaking of Gunter, where is he? I haven't seen him this morning. Oh. Hmm. He's not here yet? Hmm. Probably still sleeping. Ah! Hey! You guys have no energy. You need to look alive. He's all still teenagers. Huh? Hey, Miko. Okay! Your good mornings are too quiet. It's because you're so quiet that you feel down. Ah! Hey! Maybe hey, you should sigh louder. Weirdo. Weird. But you'd be the most depressed out of all of us. Hmm. Of course, I'm depressed. This is the most depressed I've been in all my 200 million years. What is this? 200 million years? But... But being depressed won't help those who died rest in peace. Tinko and Angie too. If I stay depressed, they won't be able to rest in peace either. Okay! So, in order to make their deaths have meaning, I've decided to live my life with positivity. It's a 180. Uh, uh, so, anyway, uh, please take care of the new me. Come on, man. You're out of breath already. You're going full speed right out the gate. Yeah. But it's just like Miko said. Those of us left need to look to the future and live, for all the other sakes. Right? Yeah, let's cheer up and work hard. This game is just getting started. I mean, half of us are dead. Anyway. Huh? Game. Oh? Huh? Isn't that what we're talking about? <sighs> uh, but now that there's less people, I might be the next victim. Wow. Wow, so exciting. But I definitely don't want to die. <laughs> well, I guess it's the same for everyone else. Always messing around. Still saying crap like that at a time like. Just then the door, dining hall opened, and. Did he find more writing outside? 
this big problem? Everyone is serious. How? I don't know. The Colossal High School girl is on the outside of the wall, isn't she? Oh! Okay, maybe not that serious. We're going to enter the courtyard before coming here. Could it be... Yeah. The graffiti? What's more added to it? Mm. Yeah, more letters added. Huh? The world is... I'm not sure it's trying to spell. The swords, or maybe this world? Wait! Oh, what about this world? What does it mean? Is there some crazy story going on? Maribo. Hmm. Possibly just graffiti, right? We should ignore it. I don't know about that. Who's writing it? No. No, I don't think that's a good idea. Do you want to die? Why do you want to die? Huh? Ah, right. That's just a habit of hers. My heart skips, skips a beat every time. Because? No one here takes credit for it, right? But now there's more added to it. Must have some meaning. You know... So, seriously, none of us here wrote it? This is a prank, you better speak up. But... But Gunter stumbled upon... But Gunter stumbled onto the writing by coincidence, right? If it was a prank, then they would have done it in a more obvious spot, not in the grass. Nothing more depressing than an unnoticed prank. Oh, I see. It's like a titty no one wants to fondle. Ah. Well, could just be Gunter writing it, since he was the first one to find... Gunter never do that! Want to never make trouble for everyone. It's ungentlemanly. What is that writing? Bada bum. The world is something something. What's doing it? What does it mean? <sighs> well, I don't really get it, but maybe it's some kind of clue. Well done! Thanks for the report, Gunter. Hmm. Gunter just glad to help. Oh yeah! Gunter wants to help, even a little. Tell Gunter if you need help with something, okay? Okay. Okay, got it. I'll let you know if I want you to punch someone. Wait! No, you don't get to tell Gunter what to do anymore. Gunter! Yeah, Gunter learned lesson after eating sect meet and greet. Man. Ugh, boring. Oh, oh, my ears are burning. Are you guys talking about me again? You must love me. Yay! Are you getting dizzy from the face I make when I concentrate really hard? Actually... Your face. It's always the same, isn't it? Yeah. Yeah! Mind that. You guys are probably eager for it, right? My prize, that is. Right? You guys can't live without getting a prize right now, right? That's what I thought, so I bought a prize. Prize. So we didn't exactly see Monodam die. Prize and shiner sign. Like he didn't break or anything. But I bet it's still out there somewhere. Yeah. Huh? What's an earth sign? Oh. oh my, forgetting your catchphrase is like the kiss of death for a mascot, you know? <laughs> ah, because I'm a mascot, get it? All that remains of a once powerful yeah, it's not gonna end well for him. Not that! That wasn't even a joke. There was no setup, no punchline, no nothing. Hmm? By the way, who's this pink stuffed pig and why is she talking to me? Monotaro's head is busted! One solid whack should make him remember! Ouch! Uh, where am I? Where's Kaoru? Kaoru? What? Your character is completely different now! Cops! My family, and you, thank you for loving me! Uh. Come on! Remember already! <laughs> They're so freaking cute! I could watch them forever. No. I've had about enough of them. Hey, hey! Hey, give us some loving too. I want my reward already. When did you get so friendly with Monokuma, Kikichi? Now then! Okay, okay. Prize this time is... 
Uh... Ta-da! The legendary Levy Stone, the priceless Octo Brush, and a guard key, which just so happens to be the motive too. Hmm. Motive. Hey! Can you just say motive? Yeah. Yep. This mysterious car key is your next motive. How nice! The classic carrot and stick approach. No one can work a carrot or a stick like Daddy. Huh? Real carrot and your stick. I mean, whips and chains all the way. You know. Guard key is the motive. What does that even mean? Hmm. So the new area you can open with the card key. Is that where the real motive is? <laughs> hmm. That's a secret. Why don't you use it if you're so curious? Please wait. No, we should. If we want to prevent another murder from happening. <laughs> Yoink. I'll take that car key then. Ichi used his life body to his advantage and took the card key from Monokuma. No can do that! But Monokuma's motive. What if another murder happened? Mm -hmm. I wouldn't mind that at all, you know. Huh? What? Because... Because this is a killing game and we're the players, plain and simple. Why wouldn't the players play the game? Don't screw around! Quit screwing around and just give it to us. No way! No thanks. See ya. That's enough! Uh, hey, wait up. Oh crap. Unbelievable. Running in the halls isn't normally allowed, but I suppose boys will be boys. Yeah, yeah! Also, I forgot to mention this, but I've hit another flash black. Flash black. Flash back light. Somewhere. Sing him black light. <laughs> I wonder what memories you'll uncover next. Happy hunting. Well, at least Angie isn't around to break it this time. So long. Farewell. Yeah? Huh? What's so long farewell mean? <laughs> Got that too? Come on, let's go. So long, farewell. You're sad with just her voice. Wait. Well, what should we do? Kikichi and Kaito are gone. I'm worried. We cannot leave Kikichi alone with that card key motive. But. But aren't you curious about the flashback light too? That's true. Perhaps we should all search together and look for Kikichi as well. Well. That's a good idea, but. Let us look for Kikichi while you focus on the search. Logical. Right now, we need your skills as a detective, Shuichi. Then... Right. In that case, let me hold on to that. I'll look around again. Yeah! Shuichi's grown up. You've become so reliable. Uh, now that you're so respectable, I'll let you pet me if you want. Actually... Oh, I see. So Shuichi gets that honor. Hmm. Shuichi is so amazing. Kanto want to be useful to everyone too. It's okay. Don't worry. When the time comes, we'll use your body as a meat shield. At least she's being normal. Mm. Okay, Gonta hope. Gonta hope time comes soon. No. No, you shouldn't hope that it doesn't come. No. Even when I stopped and read it, I still said it wrong. No, you should hope that it doesn't come. Okay, where to begin? I search for a place to use these mysterious items. I almost completely forget what the layout of this place is. It's been so long since I've wandered around. Well, there's someone here. So why was there an exclamation mark? Ah, this. Okay. All right, fifth floor. Building just keeps going up. Staircase. Seems you can go upstairs from here. Hmm. Fifth floor, huh? How many floors does this school have? Okay, straight in there. He's already up here. Okay. Oh, well, let's just look at the map again. Or anything else? All right, my uh, lab and cosplay's lab. Okay, I'm assuming. Samugi's lab. Hey! 
This has a completely different feel from the fourth floor. Huh? Yeah, that door over there is just plain suspicious. Could it be? This looks like an ultimate lab. I should check inside. Hmm, that's a whole studio. It's amazing. It's like an event venue. This must mean this is the ultimate cosplayer's lab. This is a set for photo shoots, huh? There's a bunch of backdrops here. This is an incredible setup. It's pretty over the top. Bar set. Looks like a bar. Is this a set too? Yeah. But what do you know? It's just like the real thing. Smoothie spoke cheerily and sat down at the table in front of the counter. Hey! Hey, Shuichi, are you thirsty? I can make you one of my signature cocktails if you like. Is it a real bar? Huh? Signature cocktail? Yeah! Yeah, it's like all the drinks here are top quality stuff. <laughs> I used to make them a lot at my part time job. Don't worry, it'll be non alcoholic, of course. Then. Okay, I'll take one. Are you gonna poison someone? Quick. How would you like it? A little stronger, maybe? It's non alcoholic. Huh? Uh, sure. Wow, you're good at this, aren't you? Yeah. Before I got sponsors for my cosplaying, I worked a bunch of jobs. I used to say to my customers, I'm in a bit of financial trouble. If only <laughs> someone could help me out. What? What is this feeling? I suddenly feel charitable. Okay, it's ready. Thank you. What kind of part-time job did she have anyway? Mixing drinks like this. Those thoughts swelling around my head. I drank the drink Smoogie handed me. Please, come again. Okay. Yes, thank you. I'll be back. Oh, crap. Don't make so. Another set of photo shoots. That's quite the gothic feel. <laughs> Guess that's it. Alright. Yeah, so this thing all the way to the left. Sewing machine and work table. Perhaps a space to make and repair costumes. Bill, bill, bill. But I right, guess I haven't actually talked to her yet. Um, even with all these materials and tools, it's by myself. Hmm. I see. Cosplay is fun to do with others, right? Yeah. There's no point doing it by myself. Hey, Shuichi, do you want to give it a try? Come on, try cosplaying with me. Huh? Me? Yeah. Yeah, I think it'd be plain fun to become fictional characters. I'm a completely different person and feel like you're part of a different world. Right, right? Doesn't that sound interesting? Don't you want to live in a fictional world? But... Uh, but I'm investigating right now. Oh, right! Let's do it later. Let me know when you feel up to it. I'll help you become your favorite character, whether it's from an anime, manga, or a game. You can't! However, if you're just trying it out, you gotta cosplay with love. Uh, okay. Even if you're just trying it out. What was that figure in the bottom left that I only just saw when I left? Something matches the atmosphere of this floor. Looks like it will open. Suppose I'll have to leave it for now. Weirdo. There's an angel statue and a demon statue next to the stairs. Don't chapels usually have these? Hmm. Yeah. This makes you feel like there is no god. Then there's this. Is that coincidence or just Monokuma's sense of humor? Oh. 
Now yeah, good. All right. Ultimate Detective Lab. Huh? What is this? That's true. This looks like your research lab. Uh, okay. It is, right? Well... Let's see what's in here. But I'm getting a bad feeling from this place. Bad feeling. The giant ominous spinning circle up there? Oh. Bottles lie on the shelves behind the glass door. Are these? Got a minute? It looks like poison. I knew it. Do you think so too, huh? That's true. There's no way this can be normal medicine in the ultimate detective's lab. You open the cabinet glass door and peers inside. Hmm. Yeah, I know this. I know what some of these are. They're definitely poison. Then. In that case, we should try to dispose of them. We don't want to anyone accidentally. What's the point? I mean, we got rid of them. Why can't we just replace them? It's useless doing that. It would only be a temporary solution. Temporary solution. Just to make sure no one will ever use them. By the way. Even so, I'm surprised they have so many in here. Poison for instantaneous death, as well as ones that can inflict various symptoms. Depending on how you use them, you can set up different gimmicks. But this doesn't feel like an ultimate detective's lab. More like Criminal's lab. I see. Fine line when it comes to knowing everything about crimes. I suppose that's right. It's a fine line between detective and criminal. Hmm. A bunch of files lined up. Looks like about 50 of them. What is files for? Huh? Stained photographs of murder scenes and the tricks the culprits used. Huh? I looked through the other files and found they were all similar. You don't know? That's well. This incident really happened. No. Not be sure, but there are pictures of the scene, and all of these cases seem feasible. Hmm. Feasible, huh? And this would make a good guideline for anyone who wants to commit murder. I'm kidding. Well, I doubt anyone's that stupid to use a file that's accessible to any everyone. Lucky picked up a file at random and started flipping through Not it. Wait a minute. Huh? This file doesn't have any photographs. It's just drawn illustrations, but... Huh? Okay. The newer files have photographs, but the older ones have illustrations? Uh, um... But why? Are the old ones just fictional? Anyway, I'm gonna schedule all this place. Hmm. Everything here has to do with death. Because. Well, that is your job as a detective, especially in this killing game. Uh, okay. Yeah, I know. The only time I can use my detective talent is after someone dies. Detective can't save anyone. I'm only useful after it's already too late. Do you wanna die? Why are you upset all of a sudden? Do you want to die? Huh? You'd kill me just for that? That's right. Nah, I understand why Marky Roll would say that. Your face looked pretty gloomy. Kaito! Kaito. The face is gloomy as that. I can't believe you're my sidekick. Keep your chin up! Be more proud of yourself, Shuichi. Everything you've done up till now is amazing. Uh, okay. That's true. That's why you should be careful. Huh? Huh? What do you mean? You don't know? Of how well you did in the class trials. Future culprits will have their eyes on you. Next culprit might come after you. Huh? Come after me. Don't worry about it. Huh. You don't need to worry about that. Don't let anyone mess with my sidekick. Leave it to me! I'm gonna protect both of you. It's the hero's job to protect his sidekicks. I don't understand. What if I end up as a future culprit? Huh? Are you stupid? That's impossible. You. How can you believe in people so easily? I believe in you! Huh? Didn't I tell you before? I believe in people I want to believe in. If they betray me, it just means I made a bad call believing in them. <laughs> of course, you're one of the people I want to believe in, Makiro. By the way... Why are you even here? Did you finish playing tag with Kikichi? Jeez. 
I lost track of him. I can't find that guy anywhere. Uh, um. Couldn't find him. But he still has the motive key card, right? Ah. Yeah, you should still have it. I was trying to think of where a key card would be used. And now I just realized from the first crime scene behind the bookcase in the library. Chance like Kikichi could have used the card key and gone somewhere. Yeah. Well, he ended up getting away. But look what I found. Got it. The flashback light. Ah. Ah, you found one. Of course. It's right about Kikichi. But I think we should deal with this first. Let's all gather in the dining hall. Huh? I'm coming too. Ah. ah. Wait a minute. The other place I want to check first. Can I meet up with you later? Huh? Yeah. I'll go ahead to the dining hall. Well. You're not going to check this place? I believe in you. Well, let Shuichi handle it. You got this, right, Shuichi? Uh, um... Yeah, right. Huh. And once you're done, come to the dining hall. Boop, 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 boop. Boop, boop, boop. You. You didn't even complain. You seriously are his psychic now. I can't even argue with that. Boop, boop, boop. You. You. There's really nothing to look at in here. So where is the... Where's the stone go? Like outside, maybe? I guess it is. Even less green than last time. Still maintenance going on. Hey! What's the deal with this place anyway? What kind of facility was it before? Hmm. Are they renovating an old facility? Perhaps constructing a new building? Yeah. At the start, Monokuma said there were supposed to be facilities for us. Fuck all y'all! That's obviously a lie. That plush bear is stuffed with lies and shit. Well. Hard to imagine that they built this entire facility just for us. That's right. I also think Markum was lying. He is an exceptionally deceitful being. Uh, um... Being? Well, he's a robot, isn't he? That's robophobic! Luigi, have you been a robophobe this whole time? No. Uh, no, that's not what I meant. When does this place exist? Is it really just a place for us to have this killing game? Hey! Ah. Where are you hiding? Come talk to Gonta. Hmm. Gonta? Are you looking for Kikichi? Um. No, not Kikichi. Bugs are. Gonta, see tiny bug. No mistake this time. It definitely fly by Gonta's eyes. They fly. Hey, bugs! Come out again. Gonta want to talk. Tiny bugs again. I'm just been talking about them for a while. He's interested as the ultimate entomologist. But memory of the insect meet and greet. Still raw. Staring at Tanker's lab. I should leave her alone. Hey, Shuichi. What is it, Shuichi? Don't stare at me so much. Or I'll become even more beautiful. Uh, um. Uh, I see. Are you embarrassed? That's something she said herself. You. Did it look like I was blushing? Huh? You're right. Before, no one could tell that I was blushing, right? Ah, that's right, I remember. Okay. Yeah, he looked a little embarrassed just now. <laughs> okay, then I'll keep at it. Okay. Okay, Mir, what do you got to say? <laughs> You're as quiet now that no one's yapping a two of this or two of that anymore. I knew that midget was running a goddamn cult. Ah. I mean, if there really was a god, he'd obviously make me. The gorgeous girl genius, his chosen one. <laughs> okay. Hmm. Never come across Kikichi at all. I wonder where he could have gone. I knew it. Yeah. 
<laughs> what is it? Uh, um... How about this? Then... That's robophobic! Oh. The back object over there looks suspicious, doesn't it? Going with the red border? Does it? Or red object? Alright. I guess that's what it's saying, guys. Literally hovering. Uh, what? Uh, uh, Buildings just combined. Uh, uh, what did you do to my lab? It's going in super deep. I'm positive the strange building is an ultimate lab. What machines and sci-fi feel? I deduce this is Kibo's lab. All right. Now check inside. Looks like a maintenance room for a robot. And machine parts everywhere. I knew it. This is definitely Kibo's lab. Is this? Huh? And it isn't it yours? No way! I don't want this. I don't like all this sort of sci-fi technology. Can we leave now? Is that all right? Imagine that a lot of things in here would really help you out. You should take a look. <laughs> no, I don't want to be assisted by sci-fi technology. You shouldn't rely on the power of sci-fi for anything. Wouldn't that include you, Kiba? That's right. Anyway, I would prefer a more Japanese theme since I like that food the most. Unfortunately, no, I can only stare at it. I really prefer the food. <laughs> the very least, I like some kimonos in my lab and a porch with wind chimes. Uh, okay. Yeah, that would be nice. It doesn't seem like Kibo is going to use this lab. Well, it's free to do as he pleases. Nothing I can do about that. Hmm. Alright. Really? There was no item, so I literally just talked to him. Spoke with everyone and told them to gather at the dining hall. For a time, everyone had gathered in the dining hall. Okay. What a bow. Alright! Alright, looks like everyone's here. Let's get started. 